Um, what is your ideal home? Not Paris. Um, <laughs> what is your ideal home? Okay, yeah, uh, I think it would be like full of different stuff, like everything. Musical instruments, paintings, uh, for sure, some vinyl, you know, uh, audio records, uh, for sure a collection of movies or something. So yeah, it would be very minimalistic, you know, like, like, like this one. Maybe some artifacts from the travels, for sure lots of books on art and stuff so yeah this this would be the ideal place i don't really know where but a place that has a lot of like green and trees around it home for me is not really a place it's around being around many communities and good people that i fought, consider good friends and um and that may that's what makes me feel at home they enjoy doing the same things i do they're people i can talk to and they're people that don't really have surface and superficial level attitudes towards me yeah. a van <laughs> i think um, it's with a lot of people i think it's different and uh, especially in different parts of life so maybe now it's <laughs> um, a in a van yeah. and when i'm a bit older i will want to live in a WG, how it's called. In German, it's WG. I always think like uh, Pinterest apartments with decorations, uh, beautiful and like uh, paintings and photographs in the, in the walls. <laughs> a big one with a beautiful garden garden yeah with uh, our pets and a big garden with plants in the countryside in a uh -huh. space that people can go um, I don't know put a tent open to the travelers what is your ideal home oh my God. <laughs> a place that it's only mine it's good so a place that have a bed and kitchen and a bathroom it's okay because it's mine so I will do my things, I will put my things, and I think that I will like my ideal home. It's something like it's just mine. It's hard to answer this because I'm studying architecture, so <laughs> I have a lot of ideas <laughs> about it. But I think uh, a place is very light, with a lot of light, natural light. A place when I can share with my friends and my family. I think my ideal home will be somewhere that near the one that I love, like my sisters, my parents, and my loved ones. A, a place in the beach with big windows to have natural, natural light. Not a big space, just the, enough to, to, have, to have all my shit together and um, to share it with someone nice. I prefer a fair home about not the place, it's about the people or the things that you make you feel comfortable with the place that you are. The people that home is where is my family and where is the things that I love and the persons that I love. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> what is your ideal home? Uh, I have many things <laughs> to say about this. So I want to live in the Himalayas and I want a school near my home where I can teach neuroscience and I want my family to live with me in the Himalayas and a few other things like good air and ah, good food. I, I like deli food, so if I can have deli food also in Himalayas. <laughs> Oof, that's hard. I think it would, be, should, it would be a simple home having my own my own garden to have my own veggies and fruits and like a big garden in a far away place near a mountain probably far away from people <laughs> yeah with my loved ones close of course i don't know where but yeah nature not a big city 
my ideal home is very cozy I would say in Germany right now a lot of the houses are very modern and uh, gray and white and while it's very clean feeling and comfortable I would say it's not cozy there's a big difference I, I really want a cozy house with you know lots of blankets on my couches and um, it probably not directly in the city, but in maybe a small town or something would be my ideal location. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, like and subscribe because, uh, yeah, you can learn a lot about Paris from people who travel there.